they betray him. So now who was it that was standing at the right hand of Judas? It was the devil that was standing at the right hand of Judas. Let's go now, uh, skip down to, uh, skip down to uh, 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 verse 27. Read that 27 verse. Go ahead and read it. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Now this is after the sop, you know, uh, this is when they were sitting there and they was eating the past. Book says supper here, but it was the Passover. That is what they was eating. So now after the sop, they were sopping in the dish. And after the sop, Satan entered into Judas. Go ahead and read on. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou doest, do quickly. Now, and, that is good. I just want you to, uh, uh, I, I just wanted, uh, uh, you, uh, did you finish that verse? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, go, uh, verse 27. Yes, sir. Read it again. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Now he said, after the sop, Satan entered into uh, Judas. Go ahead and read on. Then said Jesus unto him, uh -huh. that thou doest, do quickly. So now, let's go and look at another thing here. Let's go this time to Acts chapter 1. And we'll pick it up at verse 15. Show you what it is that we were reading about in Psalm 109. Acts 1, and we'll begin at verse 15. So now we got Satan that was standing at the right hand of Judas. And then the Lord said over in uh, Psalm 109, you know, uh, let another take his office. We're going to understand who that is that we were reading about over there. That Satan was standing at his right hand. Let's go to uh, 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 Acts chapter 1 and begin at verse 15. 1 and 15. And this is after, uh, uh, you know, Jesus had ascended back to the Father and all of that. You know, and they had watched him ascend back to the Father. And now, you know, they're standing there among themselves, and they want to make a decision as to who should take uh, Judah's office. Go ahead and read on. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples uh -huh. and said, the number of names together were about 120. Go ahead. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled. And he said, men and brethren, this scripture must have need to be fulfilled. So he's talking about a scripture that had to be fulfilled. Because all scripture really must be fulfilled. But he's talking about a particular scripture here that must need to be fulfilled. Because, you know, uh, uh, just before they crucified Jesus, Judas went and hanged himself. Yes, sir. So now, there was 12 and they had to replace one of them. So therefore, he said, now, men and brethren, this scripture must need be fulfilled. Go ahead and read. Which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas. Now, which the Holy Ghost, it said about him, what, what's the mouth of David? That's Psalms, isn't it? Yes, sir. He said, now, which the Holy Ghost spake by the mouth of David, saying, this scripture needed to be fulfilled. Go ahead and read on. Which was guide to them that took Jesus. And, and, and Judas was a guide to them that took Jesus. So remember, they the one led him out there, and Judas even told him the one that I had kissed, yes, that sir. is him, hold him fast. So, you know, Jesus looked like any other Jew of his day. You know, you couldn't tell, he couldn't tell him to go down there and grab the one with the halo over his head, because he looked like all of the other Jews of his day. So Judas said, the one that I kissed, that is him, hold him fast. So now he was a guide to those that took Jesus. Go ahead and read on. Verse 17. Go ahead and read. For he was numbered with us uh -huh. and had obtained part of this ministry. You know what I say? He was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry because he was one of the 12, wasn't he? So now he was numbered with them and he had obtained part of the ministry. Go ahead and read on. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity uh -huh. and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the mist Go ahead. and all his bowels gushed out. Uh -huh. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue, Asadema, that is to say, the field of blood. Go ahead. For it is written in the book of Psalms. Notice what it said. Now, it is written in the book of Psalms. Go ahead and read on. Let his habitation be desolate, uh -huh. and let no man dwell therein. Go ahead. And his bishopric let another take. And his bishopric, which means his office, let another take. So now we understand who that was. That evil man that was there and Satan was standing at his right hand. That was dealing with Judas. That is who that was dealing with. You understand? Now, let's go to uh let's go to uh 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 uh, uh let's go to uh John chapter twelve and we'll pick it up at verse four. The Lord allowed Satan to use Judah because Judas was a wicked man anyway, and a wicked purpose must be accomplished. So mm -hmm. therefore the Lord allowed Satan to influence a wicked man. I'm going to show you, Judas was a wicked man. Let's go to John chapter 12 and begin reading at verse 4. John 12 
and pick it up at verse 4. 12 and 4. Okay, go ahead, me. Then saith one of his disciples, uh -huh. Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Go ahead. This he said, not that he cared for the poor. See, but, you know, Judas, he got the money bag in his hand. You understand what I'm saying? So he's saying, uh, uh, why, uh, why was this ointment not sold and given to the poor? Not that he cared for the poor, but, but listen to what it says here. Go ahead and read. But because he was a thief. But because he, that's what he was. He was a thief. Yes, sir. So therefore, an evil purpose had to be accomplished, right? That the scripture might be fulfilled. So what did the Lord do? He took an evil being and he accomplished that purpose. But he allowed Satan to influence Judas to do that. Go ahead and read some more. Finish and, that verse. And had the bag and bear what was put therein. Now he had the bag and he bare what was put therein. Let's go now to John chapter 6 and pick it up at verse uh, 70. John 6 and we'll pick it up at verse 70. I'm going to show you Jesus understood when he showed Judas that Judas... Uh, that Judas had a devil. He, Jesus understood that. But nevertheless, certain things had to be accomplished. Yes, sir. So therefore, some of them things were, was evil things, so the Lord just took an evil being to accomplish an evil purpose. He didn't go get some good, uh, some, some righteous man and, 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 and then influence him to do some evil. He just took a wicked man in the first place in order that the purpose might be accomplished. Let's start reading here at uh, uh, John chapter 6. And began at verse 7. John 6, and pick it up at verse 7. 6 and 7. Go ahead, read. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, uh -huh. and one of you is a devil? See what I said? Jesus said, I chose twelve of you, and one of you is a devil. <laughs> well, he knew, he, you think he, he knew Judas was a, a devil? He knew he was an evil man and a yes, wicked sir. man, but nevertheless, the scripture had to be fulfilled, didn't it? So what did he choose? He, choose a, he chose an evil man, a devil, he called him him. He said, I chose 12 of you, and one of you is a devil. Go ahead, read on. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the 12. See, what, see who the devil was? It was Judas Iscariot, the one that should betray him. Because he had to be betrayed, didn't he? Yes, because the scripture said that he would be betrayed. Now, let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, 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 uh. Mark chapter 1, and we'll begin read at verse 21. Mark chapter 1, and we'll pick it up at verse 21. One and 21. When, when the Lord have a purpose for Satan, Satan will even obey him. Satan, at times, he will even ask permission from the Lord before he does something. Let's start reading here at Mark 1, and we'll begin at verse 21. Mark 1 and 21. Okay, go ahead and read. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. Uh -huh. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. You see what Jesus did? He entered into the synagogue, and he taught them. Go ahead and read on. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Uh -huh. Art thou come to destroy us? Now, look what the spirit asked Jesus. Say, you know, what do we have to do with you? Have you come to destroy us? Because he knew he ain't going to destroy us. That was a set time, however. And another place in the script they asked, Have you come to destroy us before time? Because they knew there was a time that the Lord was going to destroy them. They already know what their plight is. And their whole intent now is to take as many people with them as they can. Now, now they asked him, the, the unclean spirit asked Jesus, have you come to destroy us? Go ahead and read on. I know thee who thou art, uh -huh. the Holy One of God. See what they say, I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. What verse out? Verse 25. Go ahead and read. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, uh -huh. hold thy peace and come out of him. Go ahead. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. Uh -huh. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? Uh -huh. For with authority commands he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. See, that was a new thing. You understand what I'm saying? Having the unclean spirits to obey you. 
You know, that's why they're apostles. They